what makes a good law librarian is someone who is has that inquisitive nature, um, someone who is interested in service, um, someone who is interested in just the law in general and legal issues. What is information science? Um, and we talked about like what is information, right? They don't necessarily want to practice law, but they're interested in helping others find the law. Law librarianship is important and it's specifically important in the DC region because this is the hub of law. And so we have the, the Supreme Court, we have the Department of Justice, and it's important to have information professionals who are savvy about how to access that information, even in the age of technology and the internet. I just want to leave you with some final points about leadership. I'm the director of our law librarianship course of study, so I teach them how to find legal information. I teach core courses. And you guys have had opportunity to hear about a lot of different luminaries. So who did we hear about? And in that course, we talk about a lot of issues that are prevalent in society that may impact libraries. Anything from copyright law to the, Patri the Patriot Act, which deals with privacy uh, and information and the Freedom of Information Act, to really what is information today. Given that we have technology, are libraries going away? Um, and I emphatically say, no, they're not. Um, and so, but the technology has driven, has forced the profession to rethink how they do things, and which has ultimately um, changed the role of the librarian, or, or what I would like to call the information professional.